Joining us at this moment is former Meghalaya Chief Minister Dr. Mukul Sangma. Dr. Sangma, we have been talking to you in the course of your campaign and you know you have campaigned very hard for your party. Polling uh, is taking place. What is the initial feedback that you have been getting from your other candidates of TMC and uh, you know for TMC, this election is very important because outside Bengal, in Goa, they were not very successful. In Tripura, they were fringe player. But this is one state where TMC is the main opposition. Yeah, I think uh, you you have uh, travelled across the state during this campaign and uh, everything is visible. You see the TMC flags flying high almost everywhere and uh, people gravitating towards this party. There's a reason. There's a reason because people are looking for a change. People people do have reasons to look for a change because the preceding five years, since 2018, March 16, well, no, March 6th, when the incumbent government was installed, uh, since then, the state has been marred with uh, innumerable, innumerable instances of alleged irregularities, alleged corruption, including, including the state where we restored peace, despite all uh, you know, challenges in the preceding uh, generation, you have, in the preceding uh, decade, you have seen how the state was inflicted by terrorism, lawlessness, and which was handled effectively by the preceding government and restored peace. You have seen all uh, going for a toast. You know, the peaceful environment that was restored went for a toast. You have seen it on Independence Day, you know, in the state capital itself. So they speak volumes of what exactly is happening. The focus on priorities, which the priorities which are reflective of their commitment to the people, have gone for it. They were not the priorities. The priorities were self-centric, you know, greed, which they wanted to satisfy, and the, that very swelling greed of the people in power have inflicted lots of damage on the state. Therefore, therefore, you know, this is the only first election that we have seen where the issue of alleged corruptions became real core issue during the election. You have been very vocal on alleged corruption. So has been BJP, which has been partnered to the NPP in the previous mm. government. Now, if you look at the elections altogether with so many parties, multi cornered fights, mm. do you think that there is uh, going to be, you know, if there is anti-incumbency, the anti-incumbency vote might get divided? See, uh, the idea of uh, ensuring that the people who want change do consolidate and give a decisive mandate. That's the mantra of every uh, campaign that we engage as a political party. Now, obviously, uh, the parties who are in ruling dispensation will look at uh, how they can divide the rather rather ensure that there is no uh, such uh, consolidation of the votes who want a change. Therefore, it has been an awful task to make people realize if you want change, then TMC is the only party. TMC is the only uh, political force which can actually do justice to your desire and thirst for the change that you're looking for. Because now when you're talking about the alleged uh, irregularities and corruption and the same issue being uh, taken up by other political parties who, ironically, were also directly or indirectly party to the alleged irregularities and uh, instances of corruption. Yeah. There's uh, uh, no way that they can, they can insulate themselves from this whole... Uh, uh, responsibility that they have to take, you know, the accountability uh, that every political party, whoever are in government, you know, we talk about collective accountability. Huh? Right. Every political party are collectively accountable to the legislature. So, therefore, we as an opposition have been trying to draw the attention of the government to ensure that the government take cognizance of such instances of irregularities and corruption in order to save the interests of the people and save the interests of the state. That's the sole purpose, that's the priority, and that priority supersedes everything else. Garo Hills is your uh, st strong bastion, uh, and this has been, you know, uh, till this election, more of a Sangma versus Sangma election in the Garo Hill region. But now BGP also is, uh, you know, putting a lot of thrust, Prime Minister Modi campaign in Tura. So, talking about Garo Hills, how hopefully are, about, are, you, uh, are you in Garo Hills? And also, uh, you being an election veteran uh, of many elections, how do you look at prospects of TMC and other parties in uh, Khasi Hill region and Jantia Hills? See, as uh, you look at the whole uh, campaign trail, then the response of the people, and the inputs that we are collecting from the ground zero, 
we are as political party. TMC is far, far ahead of all other political party. And uh, whether that uh, uh, position will uh, enable us to have the required number, we'll have to wait and see till the second of uh, next month. Uh, but the fact is that I have full trust and confidence in the people because I think in this current election, the larger interest of the people and the state as a whole has superseded everything else. That's the reason why we have, we have engaged in the rhetoric that be the change yourself, because you want to change. Why? Because the state has been subjected to that agonizing experiences of five years of lack of governance and uh, all other instances which uh, has uh, given that kind of, uh, uh, I must say, the tech, the infamous tech, of being referred as the number one corrupted state in the whole country, I don't think any of the Meghalaya residents will uh, be, uh, you know, comfortable with that. So it's important for us, therefore, to realize our responsibility towards protecting the interests of the people and the interests of the state. Dr. Mukul, one last thing. Meghalaya with uh, you know, history of fractured mandates. In fact, you, when you were uh, chief minister, you have also, you yourself have seen mm -hmm. how the mandate comes in. Are there chances of, you know, people, Parties which are bitter enemies in campaign coming closer, uh, parties like BJP, TMC, NPP, uh, are there probabilities? Megal had shown the way. Uh, uh, I think uh, in the 70s, in the la in late 70s, as to how the um, interests of the people and interests of the state superseded everything else. So, when we look at protecting the interests of the people and interests of the state, we will look at the responsibility that is vested upon us as per the mandate of the people. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you.